Hi, everybody. This is Scott from Global Pet Expo, and I'm going to show you uh, all of our engagement tools on the uh, on the live platform that will be available to you beginning on March 24th. Until then, uh, there are no buyers on the platform, so uh, there will be no one to engage with. But on the first day of the event, uh, you will log in and you'll be on this landing page. And you'll see that one of the prominent elements here is the social feed. The social feed is here for a reason. It's here because, and you can also access it under the community tab as well. Uh, and just get a, a, a straight view of it. Uh, and what's re really important for you is that all of the buyers that are logging in during the course of the event, the four day event, will have a post here. You see how this says, welcome new buyer? Uh, well, you can go through here and you can actually click on this and then you can go right to that buyer's page. This is actually a speaker, but it's, this, it's, it's the same experience. Uh, you'll be able to uh, learn a little bit about that company about that buyer, you'll be able to you know, see their social sites, uh, see your contact information. And right from this page, you'll be able to request to connect with them, be able to send them a message, schedule a meeting with them, or initiate a live chat, okay? So, you know, very simple, you'll click on message. If there's more than one contact, they'll be listed here. You'll choose them. You can attach, you know, a sales sheet or a price sheet or a catalog up to 10 megs of content and then send that message to that retailer and hopefully begin a relationship with them. Uh, on the live chat, as in, uh, an exhibitor, you can click on here. Once again, you choose who you wanna speak with and you know you can type them a quick message, um, you know, ready to chat. And what will happen, and this will happen to you as well, is when you, when you click start chat, they'll get a pop-up at the top of their screen that says so-and-so uh, supplier, or so-and-so exhibitor wants to chat. And you can begin that you can initiate the chat there, join the chat there, or you can deny, uh, dismiss it. Okay, so this is one proactive way that you can use the social feed to um, to actively meet buyers. The other thing you can do with the social feed is to promote your products, promote your company, promote your brand uh, using, uh, you know, you can put video in here, you can put imagery in here, uh, you know, you can add links, uh, you know, anything you can do in a, in a standard uh, social feed you can do here uh, and the buyers will all see these uh, it's a great way for you to really promote yourself on the platform i would strongly urge you to post them several times a day four to five times a day uh, and the buyers will see these and as you see here they'll like and they'll comment and anytime a buyer likes or comments or shares a post they become a lead for you in your leads module so really important way, uh, again, uh, you know, this event is not one where you have to sit back and wait for the buyers. Uh, they'll come and you'll see them all in your leads module. However, you can proactively reach out to them. And I think that's one of the great things about, about the Global Pet Expo is that you can, you can really uh, control your own destiny. The more effort you put into this four day event, the more results you'll get, okay? So I wanted to show you that. Uh, I also, I'm gonna jump in and show you, uh, I'm gonna change, logins here and I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like to be logged in as a retailer and how they are going to um, initiate contact with you. So if I go to the, there's many different ways they can find you. You know, they can find you uh, based on your products. They can find you in the directory. They can find you in search. But let's just say they find you through the brand directory. Uh, they can come to your profile page which is this page here. And once again, they can initiate a live chat. They can, they can set a meeting. They can send a message to you or they can request to connect with you, okay? Uh, and when they do any of those things, uh, you will get, if they send a meeting, you'll get a, a meeting request up here in your little uh, uh, meeting center. If they send you a message, you'll get a message in your message center. There'll be a little red one here. If they send a connection request, you'll have that right here for you, okay? Uh, and then you can accept that connection request, just like you would do on LinkedIn, build your network, okay? Um, it's also important as a supplier that uh, if you want to have live video chat, that when you editing your profile, that you add whatever video conferencing tool that you're using, you add that and it will activate a video chat uh, icon here on this page so that um, the, uh, that will be available to the, uh, to the buyer. When they click on that, same thing as with a live chat, the two live features trigger an announcement bar at the top that says, hey, so-and-so um, buyer from so-and-so buying company would like to have a video or a live text chat 
with you and you can accept it and initiate it right from there, okay? Uh, really simple and um, great way for you to, uh, you know, to really get, uh, you know, to, to, to engage with the buyers during the live event. Uh, what I also would say is that um, don't worry, uh, you know, if, if, uh, if, some, if you're not available and a live chat or a live video request comes in, it will actually appear in your message center if you've missed it. Uh, it will appear in your message center so you can follow up the next time uh, you log on to the platform, okay? Obviously, we're encouraging everyone, uh, all the suppliers to be live 9 to 5 Eastern during uh, the 24th, 25th, 26th. Uh, so that would be the, the best thing, but people will be logging on 24-7. Uh, and I just want you to uh, rest assured that you're not missing any opportunities. They will all be tracked. All of the messages, connection requests, meeting requests, and live uh, live engagement tool requests will end up here in your message center, okay? Um, jumping back to your login, the exhibitor login, I also want to touch briefly on sales match, okay? Sales match, uh, the day of the event, you will come on to your sales match tab. You will fill out your business preferences. What types of retail buyers are you looking for? Where are they from? What categories are they interested in? Uh, and you'll fill what markets, um, boom what type of business they are, okay? And maybe number of employees, there'll probably be a couple more questions here uh, by the 24th. You'll fill this out. And then that night, overnight, the system will match you with the, uh, these attributes of the retailer, okay? So you'll get a series of matches uh, that'll be under your matching buyers tab right here. Okay, no buyers in the system now, so nothing's working, but there will be on the first day of the event. Okay, the other thing I wanna draw your attention to is the leads tab. We've talked about this in other webinars, but um, everyone who interacts with you, whether you're aware of it or not, will become a lead. So if you're a sponsor and you uh, display ads, if they find you in search, if they comment on a social post, if they uh, have sent you a message, they will become a lead and they will be here and you'll be able to drill down on each lead if you're in the uh, silver and gold and you'll be able to see exactly what the activities they did um, you know, what, what, what thing if they sent you a message or they found you in search or whatever, it'll be listed right here, okay? And this is all real-time data. So during the show, <clears throat> I would strongly urge you to frequently check your leads module to see who is coming in. This is real-time data. So you will literally be able to see, you know, the people that are most recently interacting with you in any way uh, at the top of this list, okay? And of course, you can export this um, once the uh, event ends, okay? Uh, Kate, anything we should dive any deeper into or? Um, we have one question. How do I actually set up my meeting calendar? Okay, so you'll come in under the uh, little drop down next to your name at the top of the screen. You'll go to my meetings. And here you'll, you'll see this will be populated with all the meetings once you've set them. Uh, you'll go into calendar settings. And you see, this is where you set your availability, okay? You can um, allow other companies to schedule appointments with you without accept accepting them. So they would automatically populate. And, you know, you may not want to set that, but you may, want, you may want to. You choose your time zone. You choose the duration of any meetings you want, you know, uh, here. Um, if you have a video conferencing link uh, that you want to use outside of the one you're using for video chat, uh, you can add it here. And then this is where you'll set your availability by day, okay? What dates and times you are going to be able to uh, be available uh, for them. Uh, it, when you block off certain times, uh, they will not be able to set meetings during those times, okay? And then of course you can set reminders or notices here. Uh, so you'll get a little pop-up notification uh, both on, in the platform and to your business email that you've got a, a meeting coming up, okay? And then just remember to click save and you have set up your meeting schedule. And then every meeting you either request or someone has requested of you will be listed here in meeting notifications. As I said, be active on social, be active with sales match, be active following up with your leads, be available for live chat, video chat, and uh, keep an eye on your, uh, your connection requests and the meeting requests that are coming in and you will guaranteed to meet, to meet a, a good deal of buyers during the uh, three day event, okay? Thank you so much, Scott. Thank you. Appreciate it. Talk soon.